Hello and welcome to this citation video. I will show you how to identify SIMS library resources to help with citations and format MLA 9th edition citations of books and ebooks. Before we get started, I want to show you how to find the SIMS library guide for citing sources. On the library homepage, select the Research Help tab. From there, select the Citing Sources link. That redirects you to the Citing Sources Guide. The MLA tab will link you to the official MLA handbook. We will use that more later in this video. Now, let's focus on citing books and ebooks. Don't be scared of citations. It's as easy as following a recipe. Just decide what you're cooking, gather the ingredients, and combine them into a final dish. Citations will differ by ingredients. Are we citing a book chapter or an entire book? For the first of our two examples, we'll cite an entire book. The main ingredients of our book citation are author, book title, publisher, and publication date. We can look at the library catalog's information to help us quickly identify what is what. The first thing listed is the book title. The title for this book is America's Neighborhood Bats. The information behind the slash, Merlin D. Tuttle, is the author's name. It's not included as part of the book title. The author's name is listed both behind the slash in the book title and in the section labeled author. In this case, the book has only one author, Merlin D. Tuttle. Be sure to check both places carefully since multiple authors are usually listed with the book title. The next section is publication information. It contains three different pieces of information, place of publication, publisher, and publication date. We only need the publisher and publication date. The publisher for this book is University of Texas Press and the publication date is 1988. Now we have all four pieces of information needed for our citation. Let's review the information we gathered one more time as listed on the screen. To finish the citation, we'll arrange the information according to the order prescribed by the style guide. In this case, we're looking at MLA style. Appendix 2 of the MLA Handbook has many different templates we can reference. I'm using the book by one author for this example. When we finish formatting, our citation would look as it appears on the screen. For our second example, we'll cite a single chapter in an ebook. When citing a specific chapter, we need a little more information than before. We need to include that this is an ebook, too. I looked at the section called Location Element and Work Cited in the MLA Handbook to figure this out. We need nine pieces of information for our citation. Author, chapter title, book title, editor, publisher, publication date, page numbers, database title, and permalink or DOI. Just like before, we can get some of this information from the library catalog. When we look at the book's title, we see both the book title and two editors. However, we aren't given individual chapter titles or authors. We can still get the publisher and publication date from the publication information area, but we aren't given page numbers, database title, or permalink or DOI. Let's confirm what we have thus far. The library catalog gave us four pieces of information, the book title, the editors, the publisher, and the publication date. For the other ingredients in our citation, we need to look at the ebook in the database. To access the ebook, we select the Click Here for ebook link in the section labeled Electronic Access. For the ebook, we can access a single chapter at a time. We can use the table of contents, labeled Contents for this ebook, to gather several pieces of information that we need. For this example, we are using Chapter 5, which is titled Bats and Rabies in Brazil. The chapter title is listed first. Next, we see the authors. Wow, this chapter has 11 different authors. Keep in mind that we don't have to include all the names in the citation. The MLA handbook says if there are three or more authors, we can abbreviate. Here, we would write the first author's name followed by the phrase et al, spelled E-T-A-L. Then, we see the first page of the chapter listed, 189. We can base the last page of the chapter from inference. Chapter 6 starts on page 221, so Chapter 5 must end on page 220. From the table of contents, we've gathered three more pieces of information that we need. The chapter title, the authors, and the page numbers. We can gather the last two pieces of information we need from the database. The database title is listed towards the top, in the section labeled Searching. The database title for this book 
is ebook collection EBSCOhost. We can obtain the permalink from the tools menu on the right hand side of the screen. The permalink tool is the last one on the list, labeled permalink. After selecting the permalink icon, you can then copy and paste the permalink from the box that appears at the top of the record. By gathering the database title and the permalink, we have gathered the last two pieces of information we need for our citation. We have gathered all nine pieces of citation information we need. You can review the list presented on the screen. Going back to Appendix 2 of the MLA Handbook, the best example for this situation is Essay, which shows how to cite a specific essay from a book. While we have a chapter rather than an essay, and we'll need to include the database and permalink information, this example still shows similar elements to our situation. When we finish formatting, our citation would look as it appears on the screen. I hope that you have found this video helpful. If you need any further help, remember, you can always ask a librarian.